Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, Chicago Bulls, man, this is a young team that has a lot of potential, and I feel like it's a sleeper because nobody's really talking about them. So, I'm going to be the one to talk about. So, before we get into the video, I just want to say, if you're new to the channel, thanks for giving me a chance, man. If you fuck with the content you fuck with the video, make sure you click the subscribe button at the end. I got all the content from football and basketball. This is the channel you need to be at, so make sure you click that button at the end. So now let's actually get into the video. So the Chicago Bulls can be legit any season now. And I would not be surprised if they happen to make the playoffs. Here go the roster of the team that's heading into next season. And for the people that raised their eyebrows about me saying the Bulls can make the playoffs, yes, I really do mean that. Like, I'm not an idiot. I understand they only won 22 games. Yes, they need to develop and they still need to grow as a team. But let's just look at what they already have on the roster as of right now. They got Zach Levine, number one. He's the leader of this team. He's the best player on this team. And last season, he really developed himself into an all-star caliber player. Now, I do realize he was not in the all-star game. It's arguable that he got snubbed and he should have been in there. The dude went out there and averaged 23 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, and he shot good from the field. The dude was coming off an ACL injury on top of that, you feel me? And Zach Levine... Fuck it, he's a borderline all-star, but they already have an established player to depend on Zach Levine, bro. On top of that, they got Laurie Markkinen as well, bro. Laurie Markkinen, he's a power forward. He's a stretch beard that can shoot the ball. It's hard to defend his shot because he's so long and he has a quick release with this shot. He also can, you know, he can score in the post and shit like that. He's a good player. He just needs to work on his defense and he has to stay healthy because he's yet to play 70 games in the NBA so they need him like they need him in order for this team to work in the future and along with both of those they also have a young center Wendell Carter Jr. so he's interesting because you know he he missed a lot of games due to the injury he had with his hand or some bullshit like that but this dude already is a good defender he came out of college viewed as a good defender that translated to the NBA now, some of the things that did not translate yet was his jump shot and, you know, his post game and shit like that. But he admitted that he was not being confident in what he can make in the NBA and he's willing to work on that. So he has to develop his post game and obviously be confident with his shots. And I feel like he needs to be a little bit more tougher and aggressive in the paint when it comes to rebounds because he's already 16. A center needs to be grabbing them boards. You feel me? So he's a young, promising player and he's still got potential to be even better than he was his rookie season. And then the Wizards also got Otto Porter Jr. So Otto Porter Jr., let me set this straight. He not about to form this team into a big four or big three. He just a player that needs to play his role, bro. That's what he needs to work on, bro, because his role for the Wizards, bro, was simply to be a three and D guy. And they actually wanted him to be a little bit more than that, bro, because they thought he had some potential to be some legit. Apparently they were blind because this dude was awful last season for the Wizards, bro. The dude averaged like 12 points. It was only him and Bradley Bill. John Wall was injured, bro. So they like, fuck this, bro. And we gave you a fucking mass contract. Yeah, out of here. You feel me? So he finished his last 15 games with the Bulls. He did improve his stat line, but it was only 15 games. So we got to see how he is for a full season and fully into the system, bro. You feel me? He should simply be a 3 and D player. And when it's time to shoot the ball and make these shots, he got to make that shit, bro. You feel me? That's just what it is, bro. But he's solid. His defense isn't lights out, bro. He, he, he could play defense on some small fours, but he's also long enough to play the passing lanes. So I guess it is what it is, bro. And then, finally, they replaced what they feel they point guard need with Kobe White, bro. So Kobe White, if you've been watching my videos, you know how I feel about him, bro. I like this young point guard that they just drafted, but... The dude got killer instinct. He's clutch. He can shoot the ball from all over the court. He can shoot different type of shots and shit like that. And he's good at finishing in the paint, bro. I thought he should have went to the Cavs. I was disappointed we did not draft him. I thought the Suns should have drafted him, but I think he's going to be one of the best players in the draft, bro. So if he lives up to the hype that he was, you know, the, the, the scouts was giving him and the hype that I'm giving him, for sure, you feel me? This dude will be a star. And then they already got Zach Levine who's already a borderline star. And then they got Lori Markkinen, who still got star potential, you feel me? This could be a potential dynasty, bro. No cap, bro. I'm not even lying to y'all, you feel me? So let me touch on these three key guys off the bench real quick, real quick, y'all. 
They got that young who's a veteran. He's he's proven as a solid power forward over his whole career. He can score in the paint. He can stretch the court and shoot the three three point shot. All that shit, bro. Then they got a shooting guard off the bench named Antonio Blankley, bro. So I respect this dude because he legit got it out the mud, bro. I think he went to LSU or some shit. He was undrafted and he got his opportunity. He really made the best of opportunity, bro. And he's proven himself as a solid dude off the bench, bro. And he can only get better as the years go on. He's still on. It's like his third season, bro. And then they got Thomas Sadaransky, who they traded for or they picked up one of them, bro. This dude is a solid point guard, bro. He's been playing behind John Wall his whole career. People think he could be a starter one day because he got good playmaking ability. He's 6'7". He can play some decent defense, bro. And he can score the ball a little bit. You feel me? This is a good pickup off that bench, bro. And if he don't do the job, they still got Chris Dunn. But they're not really trying to call Chris Dunn number, bro. They not fucking with Chris Dunn. You feel me? So, the only thing that's going to stop this team from making the playoffs this year or even next year, bro, number one is defense. They don't have that many players that can play good defense. That needs to be developed or they can go out there and get some guys that can play D. Number two, chemistry is going to be a thing, bro, because this is a young team. They have to learn how to play with each other, play for each other, and they have to, you know, put egos aside because I know it's going to be a lot of these dudes that still trying to prove themselves because they young, you feel me? They just got to learn how to win with each other, bro, and development, bro, because they got a rookie point guard, Kobe White. They got Lori Marketing who still need to develop. Exactly. All these dudes need development. You feel me? They can be better than what they is, bruh. So, along with that, one more issue I got is money down the road, bruh. Because you got to look at it like this. Luckily, they got Zach Levine already locked up, bruh. So, they go have to pay Lori Marketing down the road. They most likely going to have to pay Kobe White. Especially if he pans out, bruh. They also got to pay Wendell Carter Jr. if he pans out. They got to decide if they go keep Otto Porter Jr. or not because right now he's finishing up his mass contract deal. And, you know, he going to have to get a little bit of money too if he, they want him to stay, bruh. And then they still got to pay Antonio Blankley if, depending on how he keeps doing off the bench, you feel me? And then let's say they don't make the playoffs and they ask again, bruh, and they get a good pick or just a decent pick, bruh. If that dude pans out, they going to have to pay him, bruh. So it just goes on and on, bruh. So until this team was a playoff team, Money can potentially be an issue because they probably fuck around and gain too much young talent that can end up being good. You feel me? So, y'all get what I'm saying, man. So, long story short, man, this team can be legit whenever they are ready to be, man. So, don't be surprised when this team makes the playoffs, man. I'm not sleeping on them, bruh. So, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bruh. Do you think this team can make the playoffs this year? Do you think this is a potential dynasty? Do you think I'm making all this shit up and I'm tripping, bruh? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, especially if you're a Bulls fan. Please drop a comment, bruh. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, especially if you've been to this vid these videos and then click that button. You fucking with the videos. Click the button, man. Like, comment, subscribe. I got more videos coming soon, man. I appreciate y'all.